Hi guys, I wanted to show you how I make my easy, no fail, tasty meatloaf. Okay? Super, super simple. I start out with, now you can change the amount of meat depending on the size of your family. Okay? I use five pounds of hamburger meat. This is the 80 20. Okay? Now for smaller amounts, you're going to probably want to use a half of one of these, but use one. For five pounds, you use one package of Lipton onion soup mix. Just dump it in there. Okay. <clears throat> Two eggs. Just dump it in there. Extra onion, because I like extra onion in mine. So, using some dehydrated onion. Any, you know, you can add a little Worcestershire sauce to this if you want. Um, I don't because I have a lot of those other spices in there and stuff, and that's enough for me. Okay. And then I take extra pepper. Because I like pepper. And a little extra salt, but not a lot because um, the onion soup mix has got some salt in it, so you don't want to overload it with salt. Then you take some saltines and I use about three of these handfuls okay or whenever I think it's enough and just just crush them in your hands just put them in there it's okay if they're not in little tiny pieces it'll be fine most of them will, they'll go in little tiny pieces okay, I'm gonna do one more handful now what what the crackers does is it binds it together and it gives it a little bit of filling you can use Ritz crackers if you want. You can use um, cornflakes even, if that's what you want. Just something to bind it together with the egg to make it stick together as a loaf, okay? Now that you've got this in here, you start mixing it. Just mix it by hand. Just make sure your hands are clean. I just washed mine over there, so we're good. And mix it, mix it, and mix it. And the reason you want it to mix it really, really good is because of the spices we're pouring in on top. You don't want to have one section of the meatloaf full of spices and the rest not. See how it kind of bunched up? You want to make sure it's super mixed. The eggs and the crackers will bind it together to make it stick. Okay. Mixing away. When you can't see any spices anywhere, it's pretty much done. Okay? Yeah, we're done. Start to start putting it in the pan. Now I lined this pan with tin foil because I need a slightly larger pan, and I don't want to uh, overflow this pan with any grease. So I made the tin foil in here for two reasons. One, to make the pan a breeze to clean up, which is big, okay? And the other reason is to contain any oils that will leak out. Now this meat will shrink. Even though it's up to the top of the pan, it won't end up that way, okay? It will shrink and just press it into the pan, okay? Now in order to get a good pressing, you can take, let me get my hands clean. Hold on. Okay, you can take one of these, oh, just anything really take like this little bowl here and just press okay you're just wanting the dead air spaces out okay that's all you just want it good and compressed in there because we're making a meat loaf okay now when you're all said and done we're pressing it in make sure your sides are up okay and when you're doing this make sure you don't poke any holes in the uh in the uh tinfoil. 
be careful with that. Okay, you want your sides up. This also helps with any splattering to help keep your oven cleaner. Okay, now you just take some tomato sauce. Now some people like ketchup. And I just pour some over the top. A lot of people don't like to put it in near the end, but I want the flavor incorporated into my meatloaf. So, I just spread it with a spoon. It doesn't have to be perfectly even. You know, you don't want to have one side swimming and the other side bare, but but it doesn't have to be perfectly even. It'll, it'll actually even out as it cooks. And you can drop it, and then wham, it's smooth. See? Okay. You know, some people don't like tomato sauce at all, and, and uh, if that's fine, you don't, you don't want it, that's fine. What you do is you put it into a 350 degree oven for one hour. Just set it and forget it. And then you have meatloaf. Now, a lot of people like to make gravy with their meatloaf. Uh, brown gravy goes real, real good with it. Oops, I made a mess, look at that, oh my God. Okay. Brown gravy goes real good with it. Um, mashed potatoes, uh, corn, anything. Now you can add some of that stuff to the meatloaf if you want. You can pretty well add anything you want to, okay? You don't have to keep it exactly to my recipe. Most of my recipes are very versatile, okay? Um, you can add corn to it. You can add slices of turnip to it if that's what you wanted. Uh, just make it, it's going to be in the oven for an hour. So if, whatever you put into it will cook within an hour. You're you're good to go. Okay. Uh, some people like to put little diced up potatoes in there or carrots. Um, you can make a complete meal if that's what you want. And if you really want, you can make a pie crust, mash it down into a pie crust, and cover it over with another pie crust, and have a meat pie. Okay. That's how easy that is to to change to anything you want. Um, a variation of this makes great sloppy joes. Uh, maybe I'll go over that next time. But anyway, if you guys would hit the thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Uh, comment, subscribe, uh, check my links down below. We're going to be having this for dinner tonight. Uh, I would show you where it's done, but I hate splicing videos together. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll take a picture of it and put that as my thumbnail. So you'll be able to see it finished. So, And it'll look really good. Now, when you first get the out of the oven, um, there's going to be a lot of grease around it. You can pour that grease off or you can leave it. Believe it or not, it'll soak back up into the meat in about 10 minutes. But when you first take it out of the oven, if you want to drain the grease off of it to make it a less greasy meal, do that right away. Don't let it sit because it'll suck it all back up in there. For some reason, it doesn't. It. Uh, it's probably something to do with scientific heat, convection, whatever. But, um, yeah, you can take the, you know, you can use really lean meat. You can use venison, burger, um, buffalo, if you have that. Some people do. Uh, elk, hamburger, anything you want as far as meat goes. Just ground meat is really the best. You can use it with pork. Uh, just, you know, like I said, my, my recipes tend to be very versatile, so you can do a lot of things with them. But anyway, this has gone on long enough. I'll put the thumbnail as a picture of the actual meatloaf so that you can see what it looks like when it's finished. So, y'all have a good one and come back and see me.